Welcome to part two, which is about the sales. The board is ready, ready for Maiden, but as always, Murphy's Law, we had plenty of wind the last eight weeks or so, but since the board is ready, there's no wind at all, so hopefully we can test it very soon and create some footage for part 3. Enough talking, let's get to it!
The boat is finished, but still not tested, so there might be some further modifications to get it working, especially because the sails are way heavier as planned. Originally I wanted to cover the skeleton of the foresail with transparent cover, but that went totally wrong mainly because I ordered a super cheap film on eBay and I also haven't the right iron for the job. And of course the missing skills. Normally I'm not really bad in trying new things, but this was way more difficult as I expected. The result was not nice and the heat and the tension of the film were deforming the whole thin skeleton. But it was kind of time consuming work to print the skeleton and gluing it together, so I tried to fix it by putting the whole thing in warm water and weighting it down, which worked surprisingly good. After that odyssey I ended up covering the foresail with some structural tape. That was not what I wanted, but it looks okay. And I also ordered some expensive film for the mainsail, which worked much better, but was still no fun. That is the end of part 2, so stay tuned for part 3 where I will test this thing. And what I can say for now, there will be failures and some serious struggle to get this boat sailing. Please also consider subscribing and liking the video that gives me motivation for the next projects. Now a little teaser for the upcoming videos after the sailboat project is done. Next RC project will be in Drift. VWT3 bus cyberpunk themed. Bye for now, see you in the next one.